All right, here's the guitar part for floating. So first I'm just going to show you the chords. So the guitar is in drop D tuning with a capo on the fourth fret, open strings. So I'll just show you the, the chords to each section. So we got, this is the first chord of the song. Or seven chord with a G in the bass, except it's not C because our capo's on the fourth fret and we're in all that. But I got my pinky finger on uh, three, five, seven, ninth fret. Pinky on 11th, pointer finger on 9th, rest is open. Back and forth between those two chords. First finger on uh, eighth fret, pinky finger on eleventh. So I think for the opening, the, the the lead guitar part is doing. I think I'll play it alone, play that chord progression once, and then I'll play it a second time, and the lead guitar will join and do a little pattern like this. It's like, so I'm on my D and G string with my first finger on 6th fret on the D string with an open G string. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and then I'm going to go up to pinky finger on 8th fret middle finger on 7th fret, D and G strings, so do that twice, and then lift up your middle finger, so, sorry. So you do that three times, and then go to this chord, the... First finger on, uh, sorry, eighth fret, pinky on eleventh. One, two, three, four, and then bring that pinky down to to ninth fret, and then bar for eighth fret. So the whole pattern will sound like this: two, three, and. You walk coffee in hand, it's another day. And then the glare in your heavy eyes swimming in a haze. And then you come in with this part. So I, I like to do it like a finger picking, but you can do it with a pick too. So I do. It's uh, <clears throat> ring finger on eighth, uh, sorry, ninth fret on my D string, middle finger on eighth fret on the next string, first finger on seventh fret on the next string. And it's on the, the rhythm is two, three, four. Do, 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 do. So it's like a little pickup. Two, 
feet in full and do 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 like sixteenth note pickup. I'll play it for you. So you can do finger picking. Or you can do with your pick. tricky turnaround so you go from to uh, ring finger on eighth fret with your open G string one two three four five six seven so one two three four five six seven eight and then back up to the Second time you'll do it, it goes into the chorus. So the transition will be. And then you're out. So that's that part's like not so important, but if you want to do the transition with me, it'll go one, two, three, four, and then bring your first finger on to sixth fret on your D string pinky onto 8th fret, so, and then it's floating, right into the chorus, and I think the first chorus you can kind of lay out, or maybe just very lightly come in with this part, but I'll show you, um, I'll just show you the part, and I guess you can decide whether it goes on. So the first chorus is just a single chorus, the second chorus is a double chorus. And the part, so my chords are a bar here on ninth fret. Oops, sorry, that's not right. like that first chord, except you're barring your first finger. And your part will be... on our D and G strings, both on ninth fret. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five. transition into the second verse and you can go straight into the first part I showed you which is uh, um, so it'll go from four five six seven eight First half of the verse, come in with the same part. Two, three, and four, and. Yeah. 
second verse, same as the first, second chorus, same, except for one chord. The double chorus has this like turnaround chord. So the end, the, the end of the first of the double chorus would be. Uh, actually might be the same so pattern of both fingers on what was that sixth fret works for both this chord which is the end of the first chorus and the end of the second of the double chorus and this chord which is like the turnaround chord the end chord the, the final chord of the first of the uh, of the double chorus so your your pattern can be the same just twice as long we can we can decide if it makes sense for it to come in like halfway through the first chorus and then wait for just the second of the double chorus or I guess you can kind of decide where to come in in the arrangement and then it'll the, the song will end with the, the last double chorus will be quietly you could ghost this melody while I do so I'll do like an instrumental I love you yes I do. so I think when the singing comes in drop out but before the singing comes in when it's just instrumental you can ghost this little melody which is start singing I love you yes I do I love you I just sing that melody four times and then I sing this other melody I love you I love you also four times I love you I love you I love you and then back to the first melody and when I go back to the first melody, that's when you come in again with. And that, the, the next few times, I just sing the first melody twice. I love you, yes I do, I love you, yes I do. And then go to the second melody, I love you. that again. I love you, yes I do, I love you, yes I do, I love you, I love you. And that's the end of the song, kind of on that. I love you. One E and a two E and a is the end. Um, so for your part, that'll be...
think, yeah, you, you end on the same one E and a two E and a... Like that. And I think that's everything. And just so you have those chords of the end, the, of the like coda section, it's the same chord as the first chord of the song of the verse. That's all. Sorry, this is so long. Thank you.